We can also fuse the very high resolution images of the CT scan as well as that of the PET scan or nuclear medicine scan to localize where this tumor is because it's very hard to make out the other structures if we don't have the fine detail of an MR scan or a CT scan. And by combining our methods, we can help the surgeon or help the radiation oncologist, help the persons doing the interventions to figure out how best to treat this particular patient. This is another example. This is a patient who has a big tumor of the stomach. I think it's very obvious. It has a lot of uptake of FDG. After treatment, virtually uh, all of the activity is gone. Uh, this is a very successful treatment of this tumor. Interestingly, though, when we do a PET scan, we can image the whole body because we've injected the patient with radiation. So we may as well take pictures of a large area. And in this particular woman, we can see there's something else that's bright. We picked up an incidental breast cancer. It was an early stage, and we were able to take this out. And so we actually cured the patient of two cancers, um, in part because of our good surveillance with the PET scan.